Oh, this is Edward Kologi. Am I logged into someone? Mr. Kologi, you are here. This is the clerk. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Kologi, it's my understanding that they have appointed Ms. Carter as an acting deputy clerk by no, some I action. Explained, I explained uh, my position that if the clerk is here, ready, willing, and able to do his job, he should be allowed to do that. Yeah, it's absolutely illegal. It, it, it's, it's, it's untenable. And Mr. Bridges repeatedly told me to shut up, which is on tape. So as I said before, we have someone prepared here I, to I, serve as an acting, sir, deputy, yeah. acting deputy clerk to the extent you were there not available. There is no available. such position, To the sir, extent you the were law. not available. Mm -hmm. we can, sir, it's no probably not the best position. time to be going back and forth with this. Why don't we just let the meeting continue under Thank the you. clerk, which... You know, and we'll see where we go, but hopefully everything will be fine. Incoming video is blocked. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a call to order for the special city council meeting called by the day, Friday, December 31st, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. The appointed hour has arrived. Uh, I did not read the open public meeting statement because I cannot see it on the screen there, uh, but it is actually the incorrect open public meeting statement. Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting was unable to be advertised in a timely fashion. The advertisement was sent out to the Tre Trenton Times on December 29th. Unfortunately, that was not in time for the advertising deadline to allow the item to be published. Therefore, the City Council is proceeding without a proper open public meetings notice statement and without proper open public meeting notice to the public. However, the Council believes that the matters here are emergent enough to proceed in light of an open public meeting statement. I will be uh, asking the Legislative Council to ask for a vote to proceed um, at that point in time. Um, the call to order has made at 5.30 p.m. I will call the roll. Mr. Blakely. Mr. Blakely is absent. Ms. Colwell Wilson. No one's on the call. Ms. Colwell Wilson is absent. Mr. Harris. Present. Mr. Harrison is present. Mr. Michelle. Present. Mr. Michelle is present. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez is at Ms. Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn is absent. Council President McBride. I'm going to put my earplugs in. Council President McBride is absent. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not at this time have a quorum. I will make a quorum call in 15 minutes per the rules of procedure. Um, if we do not have a quorum at that point, the meeting will have to be adjourned. Wow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you at 45 p.m. Somebody got to call back. Mm -hmm. We need four, but it's only two. They're giving another 15 minutes for the other two to get on. Hello? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't know if everyone could hear me. Yes, sir. We're waiting for the quorum of the council. I made quorum call at 5.30. I'll make another quorum call at 5.45. Hello, Mr. Councilman Blakely. Yes, Thank sir. You we'll, 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 your, your presence has been done. And then when we have three members of the council, 
Uh, that is still not a quorum. We will wait for a quorum of the council to arrive if by 6 p.m. the council does not arrive. Uh, under section B of the rules of, civil, of uh, the procedure of the council, should no quorum attend within 30 minutes of the hour appointed, uh, then the council president or in his or her absence, the clerk or his designee may thereupon adjourn the meeting until the next day, unless by unanimous agreement those members present president select another hour or day. The names of the members present in their action at such meeting shall be recorded in the minutes by the clerk. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a quorum of the council. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kaloji, also to note for the record, uh, the open public meeting notice as published by the mayor uh, does not contain the statement formal action will be taken. It says uh, instead that the purpose of this meeting is to discuss the tax stop. I do not believe that is uh, indicative notice of formal action. Please note my objection for the first meeting. We did not notify the public that formal action would actually be taken at this point. Thank you. Also, to note for the record, Mr. Kaloji, I also would like to note my objection. I asked the administration to use the normal open public meeting link that we use for all regular meetings. That was refused for some reason. Uh, so just to note for that, for the record, my objection to proceed in violation of the Open Public Meetings Act. Thank you.
Mr. Close, if possible, I'd also like a specific uh, um, advisement on the ordinance. The ordinance has it would be a fatal flaw. It hasn't been properly advertised at all. That's that's a big problem. I could talk about some other big problems. Let's just get to uh, this um, this meeting. Wait till someone. I'm sorry, uh, I'm your, the chairman. I'm the chairman. Sir, sir, I'm. Sure. I'm the, it, yeah, it, it, I at know this point, you, you know, this, this is loose com, com. Sir, please don't attack me. No one's attacking you. I didn't say anything about you personally. You know you are. That's that's not a proper statement, sir. Please, please make sure. Listen, you. listen, let's not talk about proper statements. I'm sick of this. You're, you're giving all of this commentary, and I don't want to hear it. No, sir. These are noted objection for the record, actually. And yeah, it is I don't actually want to hear it. Whether you would hear it or not. Okay? I'm sorry. You are not in charge of this meeting at this point, sir. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll see about that. Mr. Rivera, will you please stop muting me? I am the chairman of this meeting until such time as the council president and vice president arrive or a quorum arrives. I'm not muting you, sir. So. Whoever's muting me, I would appreciate it if they would stop. How about you mute yourself? How about that? Mr. Blakely, you seem upset. I, I, uh, if oh, I, no, if, no, if no, I, no. If I, I, I may interject, if I may interject please, um, um, the, we do not have a quorum. There is no meeting until so exactly. So there's no chairman. You're not a chairman of this meeting. There's no meeting until we have a quorum. Please inform the rules of procedure. There, there, there is actually a presiding officer until such time as a quorum is formed. Thank you. But not a meeting. How, how's there an officer of a meeting that's not constituted? You're just making stuff up, Mr. Conlon. Sure. I don't know if you've heard, but you work for us. We don't work for you. You work for us. I actually work for the people, sir. You know, no, 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 no. Point. You work for this city council. I you work for this city council. By, I, by you, I do have a dirty duty to serve you as a secretary, but I have also state statutory functions. There's a reason for a municipal clerk. Can we just please? Can we please stop? There's and, definitely, there is definitely a need for a city clerk, and I look forward to when we have one. That's improper, sir. Please stop attacking me in the pub in, in a public forum. No one's in, no one's attacking you, and you do a good job of attacking you yourself. Attacking you directly, sir. I'm, I'm going to ask that you stop. Uh, I'm just telling the truth, sir. Please stop. Please show a little respect and decorum. Oh, you're talking about respect? Wow, sir. You call me a hit dog hollering in the paper. That you 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 make misogynistic statements against women all the time. Literary crack and prostitute. Yeah, wow, wow, I am shocked. I am shocked. Gentlemen, You're talking about misogynistic gentlemen, statements. Gentlemen, gentlemen, may I please, may I please ask you again? The irony. Can I please the ask, irony. Can I please ask we chill? And the irony of what? I have made no misogynistic statements. Please please state for the record, Mr. Blakely, exactly what misogynistic statements I've made. When we, when we have your hearing, we'll be talking about that. I'm sure we will. But have the evidence because I have tape. Yeah, well, we, we, oh, from my understanding, we have evidence. Email. Okay, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 5.42 p.m. I will call the roll to see if we have a quorum. Mr. Blakely. Present. Ms. Caldwell Wilson. Ms. Caldwell Wilson is absent. Mr. Harrison. Present. Mr. Harrison is present. Mr. Michel. Mr. 
Mr. Michel. Come back, Mr. Michel. He was here before. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez is absent. Ms. Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn is absent. President McBride. Now, President McBride is absent. Mr. Michel. Mr. Michel. Ladies and gentlemen, I will make a quorum call again in a couple of minutes. We're still waiting for a quorum of the city council. So thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like to say on the record uh, that the absence of my colleagues on this meeting is absolutely reprehensible. Uh, they have a duty to show up. Point of order. Uh, to it's do not their a duty. Form it's not. I'm, I have a right to make a comment. I have a right to make a comment. I have a First Amendment right to make a comment. Please do not interrupt me. I have a right. Go down there. the relevant. So I have a right. I have a right to speak. I, I have a right to speak. I, listen, I, sir, 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 you weren't elected to anything. I have a right to say something. Order. Okay, Arvin, Arvin. It's absolutely obscene that they're not here. It's just ridiculous. It is shameful. Nobody showed up? They're not here. We don't have a quorum. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Absolutely incredible. This is crazy. We have to start calling these people out. The fact that they're not here to do the people's bidding is obscene. Order, you are you are out of order, sir. But what are you going to do about it? Sue me. The fact that they're not here is just an abdication of their responsibility as elected officials. It's no shame. one wants to hear. No one cares Council. what you want to hear. Councilman Michel is on the meeting. Councilman Michel's on the meeting. You have to be muted out. I have no ability to mute anybody. We have dozens of people. We have dozens of the public waiting for us to start this meeting. And the fact that they have not shown up is shameful. The meeting, was called, illegal. The meeting was called in violation of the Open Public Meetings Act, sir. It was not called in violation of Public Meetings Act. Mr. Kologi and I will give an opinion with respect to that when the time is right. Please allow sure. the attorneys. Please allow the attorneys to do the attorney work. Okay, That's how we got in trouble the last correct. time. Acting as an attorney when he's not one. Sir, that's a slanderous statement. Please cease and desist. Not a slanderous. You're not an attorney. That's a fact. That's a fact. You're not an attorney. That is a fact. That's correct. That's not an opinion. That's not a misstatement. That is a fact. Why are you attacking me, Mr. Blakely? What is wrong I'm not with attacking you? you. I'm telling a fact. What, what purpose are you <laughs> serving at this point in time by creating a I'm not attacking you. I'm stating a fact. Just because you say something is so, doesn't make it so. You have said that I have made misogynistic statements. You have attacked me. Listen, I, I am not, I am not going to get into that. If I may, Mr. Michel, Mr. Michel currently is in charge of this meeting. I would ask this meeting for the benefit of the public. Thank you, sir. Please stop attacking me. I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you. Not attacking you. I'm telling the truth. You're not an attorney. That's correct. So I'd, prefer, that I'd ask that you stop giving us legal counsel. I'm a city, city clerk with a license under the authority of the state of New Jersey for which I am responsible to administer certain laws and procedures for which I have been trained. 
Specifically, one of the big ones is the Open Public Meeting Act. And I was told by the Legislative Council and attorney to note my objection to the record. I will follow his advice, not yours. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can be quiet now. We'll call you if we need you. Please stop attacking me, sir. Is anybody going to do a roll I'm call? I'm not attacking you. Gentlemen, I'm not attacking you. This? Gentlemen, let's stop the stateless colloquy. Why don't we wait until we take another quorum call? And if we have one, great. If we don't have one, then we have to deal with it. I just want to put on the record, it's, again, the fact that my colleagues are not here is shameful. It oh, is literally. This is outrageous. I don't think Kathy McBride is on the call. I don't think uh, Marge Caldwell Wilson is on the call. I don't think uh, Robin Vaughn is on the call. I don't think Santiago is on the call. Therefore, we don't have a quorum. City employees will not get paid because of their failure to be on this call. They always talk about putting Trenton first, putting the people. I spoke to Ron Zelensky. No one, no one needs to talk to you. I'm not. This is not a conversation. This is not a dialogue. You are not a member of this council. You are not a member of this council. You are not a member of this council. I do not need you to respond to me. We're not in a council meeting, according to you. So it is. Still, 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 again, you work for us. I don't need your response. I don't need your response. Please do not spread lies. This is a monologue. This is not a dialogue. This is a monologue. It's not a dialogue. I don't need you to respond to me. Same. It's actually improper in total. So. They may have scored. They may have scored Alabama. Well, you're an expert in improper okay. behavior. Does anybody have a score the Alabama game? Thank you, David. What's the Alabama score? Still 17-6. Oh, I like you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to call the roll again, Mr. Blakely. I'm here. Ms. Blakely is present. Ms. Caldwell Wilson. Ms. Caldwell Wilson is absent. Mr. Harris. Uh, can someone please mute the background? Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. I can I can barely discern the voices. Mr. Michelle. Present. Thank you, sir. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez is absent. Ms. Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn is absent. House President McBride. House President McBride is absent. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait 10 more minutes, at which time I will call for an adjournment. I will ask the gentleman on the dais at what time they would like to reconvene this special meeting. And we will proceed accordingly. Or we will have a quorum and we will proceed with the meeting. Thank you. This is a new low, uh, uh, just an absolute new low in these council proceedings that they are not here to do their duties. It's just, it's just incredible. We have serious business to do as a city and the fact that they're not here, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I want to note on the record the fact that we could definitely have a meeting if a majority of this council decides to have uh, a meeting. In fact, let me ask Mr. Uh, Bridges. Mr. Bridges, are you there? Uh, I am, yes. I want to ask a question uh, for the record. Uh, relating to uh, Mr. Conlon's point, can't the city member, the majority of city council, four members, request an emergency meeting at any time? Yes, they can, provided that the, you know, the, the requirements of the act um, call for it, i.e. that they are emergent situations and that they're limited to discussions on emergent situations, yes, they, yes, they most certainly can. 
as um, the mayor can as well. Um, so the, the, the answer to your question is yes. However, um, it, obviously, in order to proceed with the meeting, there still has to be a quorum. Yeah, so just to say on the record, the fact that uh, at least four of my members cannot get on this call uh, to do the people's business is shameful and a rotten maneuver. They understand that the items on this docket are extraordinarily important. And the fact that they can't be bothered to spend 30 minutes on a call <coughs> is, is one of the most deplorable actions out of many that this council has undertaken. We have a duty sir, to show up. Call this meeting to order far out of order, sir. It is literally my job to call this it's, meeting in order. I can read the provision. Yeah, I the tell you what I, I tell you what's out of order. What's out of order. Okay, sir. Sir, please, I'm gonna I'm gonna call the roll again. There's no so meeting. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna call the roll again, and we're gonna. I'm calling the council to order. Please, that's literally my job. Thank you, Mr. Blakely. I'm present. Thank you, sir. Ms. Colwell Wilson. Colwell Wilson is absent. Mr. Harrison. Present. Oh, that's what he was doing. Yes, they've Thank been you. calling each other names and everything. They didn't start the meeting. They said they've been arguing. They Mr. Michel. They need to do a roll call. Mr. Michel. And I think it's... <laughs> you go marry when I go marry. Mr. Michel. So you go marry when I go marry. Yes. Mr. Michel. Mr. Michel is absent. Mr. Rodriguez. Rodriguez is absent. Ms. Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn is absent. Council President McBride. Council President McBride is absent. Ladies and gentlemen, I will call the forum again. It's at the top of the hour, which is 6 p.m. Thank you. And also, I think it's important to note. And in fact, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bridges, yes, sir. Uh, I want to ask your uh, opinion on this. Um, am I? Is it proper or is it allowed for me to use my First Amendment rights to speak at this council meeting or at this uh, assemblage of City Council? I mean, you you can always speak. We addressed that when Mr. Collin wanted to speak during the meeting at the public comment, but typically those the, you know those statements are going to be limited to you speaking in your capacity as a sworn council as an elected sworn councilman or Thank during you. during the public meeting portion. However, I must reiterate that right now we don't have a meeting, so really there are no rules. Thank you. Just, I, I just want to say, uh, sir, just sir, I substantially disagree, and I'm going to read to you. Order, President, President Pro Tem. The President shall take the chair at the hour appointed for the meeting and shall immediately call the council in the absence of the council president. Can we get that muted? In the absence of the council president, council vice president, the clerk shall call the council to order. Once again, the clerk shall call the council to order. The clerk shall then determine whether a quorum is present. And in that event, the call for the election of a temporary president. Upon the arrival of the council president or council vice president, the temporary president shall relinquish the chair upon the conclusion of the business yeah, meeting. I, 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 I appreciate that. Respectfully, to, every, respectfully to everyone on the call, respectfully to the call, there is no the meeting until the next day, unless by some unanimous screen, those members present. Another hour or day, day and and then at such meeting you, shall be recorded. You keep muting something. Number one, we do I'm not, not have sure the so rules governing or stopping anyone from speaking. Excuse me, everyone. I just want to make a notation that Councilman Michel is on the call. He keeps getting muted somehow, but Councilman Michel is on the call. I, 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 I did have. The worst council ever. It is literally the worst council ever. It's just outrageous. We can't do the people's business because at least a majority are refusing to show up. <clears throat> Mr. Michel, you're not muted. Um, I'm not sure who's been muting you, but it, you, your your microphone is live. Well, thank you. I, I, every time I talk, they mute me out. I think it's just everyone overpowering your, your microphone, sir. <laughs> 
My speakers are muted. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are literally paid to show up to meetings like this. This is why we're paid. That's why we were elected. Uh, uh, the people are coming up. It's crazy. And listen, don't get upset with Councilman Blakely for uh, calling a thing what it is. The fact of the matter is I wouldn't be talking right now if we had a quorum on this call. We should be done by now. People should be able to enjoy their New Year's Eve. But instead, we're here waiting for my colleagues to show up. And it's shameful. <laughs> you may need to get some water for that. Who are you speaking to, sir? Whoever was clearing their throat. Worst council ever. Worst council in the history of the world. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the hour has chimed 6 p.m. I'm going to call the roll. Mr. Blakely. I'm here. Mr. Blakely is present. Ms. Caldwell Wilson. Ms. Caldwell Wilson. Ms. Caldwell Wilson. Ms. Caldwell Wilson is absent. Shame, shame, shame. Shameful. Shame. Mr. Harris, please, sir, please do not, sir, please stop Sorry. interrupting the role. Mr. Harrison. Present. Thank you, sir. Mr. Michel. Present. Do you hear me? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, I do. Thank you, sir. Mr. Rodriguez. Shane. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez is absent. Ms. Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn. Shane. Ms. Vaughn is absent. Sir, please stop interrupting the roll. I, I really, I, I really, it, it, please. Gentlemen, can we just get this done, please? Council President McBride. Super shameful. <laughs> Council President McBride. Super shameful. Please mute him. Thank you. Council President McBride. <laughs> shameful. I'm just calling it what it is. Well, the President McBride is absent. Okay, gentlemen, um, we can either we can either unanimously consent to uh, it has to be unanimous. But uh, would you like to appoint uh, another hour in Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm reading the section under quorum under Rule Eight, and I realize it talks about setting a new date now. I don't know where this came from. That would totally violate the Open Public Meetings Act, in my estimation. The best that we can do right now is this meeting does not have a quorum. There is no meeting, and whatever meeting will be rescheduled will have to be subject to local city uh, public meeting notice requirements. We can't just decide to release something on the record now and not be specific. I realize it's in our code. I don't know how long it's been there or how it got there. I don't know what Mr. Bridges' position is. I think it would be a... Now, Mr. Mr. Globe, we, we can't we can't identify that date now. The reality is on Tuesday, so if the address, we can address them on Tuesday. Sounds good. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to adjourn this meeting as um, of six oh two p.m. Yeah, there is no meeting again. We don't have a quorum. However, I see that the mayor has his hand up. He'd like to read a statement. I believe that he has the right to make a statement because there is no meeting and. This is a free for all. So, if we could have the mayor say what he'd like to say, that would be appreciated. I'll, I'll please also include Captain 
Brian, uh, um, as well, because she also Elizabeth, did, could you um, uh, could you mute everyone? Uh, can we mute everyone? Mute her. Mute her. Listen, she's not on council. Oh, Jared Blakey, you're not on council either, you jerk. Can we mute everybody on this call except the mayor, please? It I would. Let's mute. Uh, mayor, please unmute yourself. You're the only one who. Uh... Thanks so much. Um, I hope everyone has a uh, safe holiday and uh, is adhering to COVID uh, restrictions. Uh, my biggest concern is actually two years ago we were here uh, when we had to transfer funds to make sure that the first year payroll was met and council did in fact meet. Council did in fact meet and everybody was on the same page. In fact, on the uh, uh, December 23rd docket, uh, we were going to do the exact uh, uh, agenda that is on tonight, and then there were other things. Um, it is a shame that uh, Council uh, does not take this seriously. I do want to commend uh, that's, Councilman that's Blakely, Councilman Harris, and, and Councilman Michelle uh, for being on the ready and looking out for the city employees. Therefore, on this date, December 31st, 2021, I'm issuing an executive order for the City of Trenton for the issuance of paychecks to the employees of the City of Trenton. Whereas the City of Trenton has multiple <coughs> collective bargaining agreements that define salaries and benefits for employees of the City of Trenton, and whereas the employees of the City of Trenton expose themselves to risk on a daily basis to protect our citizens and maintain daily government operations. And whereas it would be improper under New Jersey's wage and hour laws and fundamentally unfair for city council to withhold our employees salary on the dawn of a new year. And whereas city council previously canceled a duly advertised meeting on December 23rd, 2021 without providing an alternative date to address various end year matters including but not limited to certain assurances that city workers would be paid and whereas the department of finance must receive approval approved transfers for the year end so that none of the payroll accounts will overexpend when payroll is posted on the payroll ending date of january 1st 2022 and transfers are also needed to prevent other account over expenditures at year end. And whereas payroll must be submitted no later than Tuesday at 12 p.m. to the city's payroll provider in order to timely issue paychecks to the city employees, thereby making it not possible for council to meet this deadline at their next scheduled council meeting. Now, therefore, I hereby declare an order as the chief executive officer and duly elected mayor of the city of Trenton through this executive order that the business administrator and the chief financial officer take all necessary actions to fund and pay all employees of the city of Trenton as obligated by collective bargaining agreements and by law by Mayor W. Reed Gussior executed on this 31st day of December 2021 and I will be distributing it to the public and to the press. Yeah, Your Honor, you were offered a special meeting for the purpose of so, forwarding Mr. payroll. Ah, oh, you're not talking. Mute him again. And then have some respect. Mute him. 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 Mute it's he I think he's converted to a campaign manager of some sort um, and is not looking out for the best interests of the city. Um, and I think he should have a lot more respect for the elected officials, including Mr. Blakely and Mr. Harrison and Mr. Michelle. So God bless everybody. Have a safe New Year's and we'll see you next year. Thank you very much.